it's October, and we we're really, really um, excited about drinking wines from Piemonte in October. So we thought, why not brush up on that? We've got a simple method. We collect a representative sample. We're going to focus in on Nebbiolo, um, and then drink them and read about them as we go. So I've got open in front of me two of my favorite sources, Hugh Johnson's Wine Atlas here and Jancis Robinson's Oxford Wine Companion. And as we try the bottles, we'll just go over the, the short articles that are in here. Um, read about the region of Piemonte in general here in Hugh Johnson and read the Nebbiolo article, um, read the Piemonte article, read the Barolo article, the Barbaresco article, and um, just have it stick with the great wines that we pick. So the fun part is next, which is going to see Greg St. Clair, our Italian buyer at K&L, and picking out some great bottles. So let's head to the store and find some good stuff. A short ribs tonight. Yes, right? short okay. ribs tomorrow night. So this is. And we're gonna need two bottles of wine. Yeah. <laughs> this this is classic uh, Nebbiolo kind of uh, piece. So braised meat, that really complex flavor, but a kind of broad flavor. No real uh, flavor spikes. So it's a wonderful canvas to play out a complex wine like Nebbiolo. So the first wine I would say would be Ruggeri Corsini, the Lange Nebbiolo. Uh, these are Barolo producers in Monforte d'Alba, but just an absolutely delicious wine, all tank wine. So you just get the real freshness, the real character of what uh, Nebbiolo is, that classic rose and tar. It gets that uh, aromatic of uh, rose hips. If you kind of crush rose hips in your fingers, it gets that ethereal aromatic. Well, that's the a classic signature for Nebbiolo, and this wine has got it. It's tremendous. And because it's also one of our DIs, uh, it's a hell of a deal at $17.99. The other wine, which is a real deal, which we don't normally uh, get to carry anything at this price, this is Aldo Conterno. Of course, this year we did a, a huge sale. We bought in a tremendous amount of wines. In fact, the container has just arrived of all Aldo Conterno. That's 1,100 cases of Aldo Conterno. Porca miseria, you'd say in Italian. Uh, but anyway, this is their base Nebbiolo, so same thing idea with what the Ruggeri Corsini was, but this is Aldo Conterno. A little more elegant, a little more complexity. They use rose fermenters a little softer also this is 2006 so great vintage but it's had a little more time to develop it's a little more complex uh, but wonderful drinking right now also the real key to this as you know maybe not everybody else listening either uh, is Nebbiolo needs a burgundy glass uh, always it's the only way to really get all the character and flavor that you're gonna taste in Nebbiolo so Aldo Favot wonderful wine. So let's get these open. We'll get them decanted and then put them back in the cellar so they can stay cool. Personally, I really enjoy drinking my um, wine at cellar temperature. I really don't like drinking it warm. It's, it's October, but October here in Northern California is one of the most beautiful, beautiful months for weather, so it's still quite warm here. The beaker's a small target, so I like to use a funnel. I can already see that the Ruggieri, the 2010, is a lot lighter than the 2000 six Il Favo from um, Aldo Conterno. So time to put these guys back in the cellar. All right, we're gonna set them into the cellar and um, get back to cooking.